Yeah, every time you sneeze, you teleported to a complete random place. Ooh, melding complete. Nice. Could see space if you live with Rosalina. True. Very true, actually. Oh, you get all the Loomers living with you as well. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Wanna get Hornmeister and Geologist. Cool. Still weighing on that 30%. This is gonna be like a level one, isn't it? And I mean these can get talismans this way, I guess. It still seems like a really weird thing that we've that we have to do. <laughs> Uh, cheers, Lost Lot. You too. And cheers again for the raid. It's greatly appreciated. And hey, if anyone hasn't already, be sure to check out Lost Lot Uh I mean, they were kind enough to raid us, so they're pr they seem pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I hope you have a great uh, Easter weekend as well. I'm now very hot, but I think it's because I'm drinking tea and haven't got a window open. Please roll this gi uh, giant star bits. Yes. And if anyone does want to, we do play in an open session while playing this. Uh, so if anyone wants to hop in and uh, help with some hunts. Uh, if you do estimation mark session, you get the session ID and password. Uh, we do have a one more slot, I think. Yeah. So if anyone does want to join, then hey, feel free to. It's not as good as World where like everyone can join and we all do stuff together, but hey ho. So then it's real life counterpart, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong one. I got everything you need. Uh armor? Just tell me what you need. Like, what is this? Oh, is this the yeah, it's like the bone upgraded one. Level 5 dragon attack? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> plus 20% dragon attack and plus 4 bonus. And a plus 3 attack. What What are these armor sets in this game? This is ridiculous. What does Barath give you? Just a level 4 attack boost and level 5 defense boost. Plus 5% uh, attack, plus 7. And plus 8 defense. Sorry, plus 8% defense. And then an extra 20. And then all element resistance is plus 3. Jesus Christ. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, we can get Sound of Thief jewels now. It's kind of cool. Speed sharpening. It's not a terrible idea. Uh, sort to the housekeeper quickly. I'll go to my bullies. Oh, wait, uh, still some of the buddy dungeon. Sorry, give me a sec. Oh, right, yeah, I know that did finish. Ignore me. Anyway. Uh, Animal Crossing is probably the only video series you probably want to live in. It's just an easy, relaxed living. Mm, apart from the fact that you have Tom Nook breathing down your neck every two seconds, reminding you that to pay your debts off. You know, aside from that. <laughs> what are we fighting? Oh, two Volvodons, that was it. Which might be quite nice, actually, because I am using the Volvodon uh, braces at the minute. Remake those, maybe. Might be, a, might be a decent idea. Things we never were able to make the... Uh, um, Kalulaku ones. But yeah, to live in a video game? Hmm... 
Like, because the thing with, like, the question of which video game series would you want to live in, um, you got to think, like, who are you in that, in that world? Like, because you're not going to be the main character. Where am I going? Down here, I think? Like, you're just going to be a random person in it, right? So you got to think, okay, what has the best, like, environment to live in? Animal Crossing is probably a very good one to, to choose. I must admit. So you can pay to expand your house whenever you want. True, but then you just owe more money to them, right? I just got farted on. Lovely. I rolled into that. I need to upgrade my armor desperately. Come on, I'm rolling in water. I shouldn't be stinky anymore. You can pay whatever you want, true. It's deodorant to get rid of stink, isn't it? I get the health regen. Gives me something at least. Oh, here's Castadons. I can't actually see anything getting in the way, but... It's like Monster Hunter wouldn't be a terrible one, I guess? Like, as long as you, like, you're in a time when... Monsters aren't on a complete rampage, destroying everything. Because then you get the good food. Which is any time. True. <laughs> Like, Fallout, you never would want to, right? Like, living in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Even if you're in, like, a town or something. You're never truly safe in that environment. One bigger than the other. I'm actually not sure. I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, I think one of them is. Of course, there's bees, trashes, and scorpions. So, Australia. <laughs> Elder Scrolls and stuff, you'd probably be slightly safer in that than, like, Fallout and stuff. Probably not by much. Like, most RPGs you probably wouldn't want to. Actually, you know, Mass Effect wouldn't be a terrible one. If it's after, if it's before or after the games, I think you'd be fine. Like, if, if it just, like, without the Reaper threat, I think it would be a lot better. Because that would be a pretty decent one to live in. Be careful. 
can't die in Animal Crossing. True. And by that logic, I mean Stardew wouldn't be a terrible one. Because that's just <laughs> real life, but you decided to be like, you know what, I'm going to go run a farm. Burb. <laughs> took that to the face. There we go. If you'd be into playing Stardew or not. I mean, if you like Animal Crossing, it's just the same thing, but with arguably a bit more to do, I couldn't do anything. I, I was trying to get out my stun, but yeah, nothing. I hate many. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, if you like Animal Crossing and stuff, then, yeah, I'd say you probably like Stardew. Like, so it's the same thing of, like, um, tending to, you, I say tending to your farm isn't really a thing you do in Animal Crossing, but it's the same sort of thing where you organise it how you want, all that sort of stuff. It, there's a bit more organisation to it, I guess. Um... So it's like you've got to figure out what crops you want to plant in what season, um, that sort of thing. And there's like more events to do and stuff like that. Where are you guys? This way. Burp, no worries. The like Horizon's Island customization. You can sort of do that in. Uh, eh, okay, maybe not in Stardew. Like you can customize the farm how you want it. Like, you can't change the, like, elevation of land and stuff like that, but you can put, like, pathways down and make, like, sections and that sort of thing. Like, you can in, like, original, or, like, uh, pre-Horizons uh, Animal Crossing. Oh, I really hate that they got rid of the scout flies. It's, like, the, the one thing that really annoys me about this game is... Finding your way around maps is an absolute pain, especially if you don't know them very well. And even though, even if you do, like, you don't really know where a monster is. Ha! One, two, no two. You can slam it into the uh, uh, into the pillar if you wanted to. I think the angle and stuff probably would have been a bit too awkward. Um, oh no, no, it's, no, this is the desert theme that's playing. Uh, I just think, isn't this the uh, <laughs> the Rajan um, theme playing? But there isn't one on the map. I was very confused. This, this thing has got to be dead soon, right? A mini left, so the scaling should have gone down. If that's how it works in this game. Didn't want to jump off the cliff? Yeah, that happens. A lot. <laughs> At least in my experience.
didn't see the rush on this pack. Well, I thought it kind of had. And I realise it's a different uh, thing we're doing, so... That missed? I think I hit that perfectly so it just missed, which is kind of annoying. Much more health, right? <laughs> but you got bitch slap. It's fine, I'm distracting it, you can revive. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I say these things. I make it look like I bleh, I make it look like I am helping, but nah, I'm really not. <laughs> Oh, it costs me using the uh, thing. Fun. Oof, we've just in the right spot for that. We can capture it! No! Come here! Stun it, please, love God. Thank Christ. That was not cool. Thank you, Angelic, for... for tranking it. Because, yeah, no, that was, that was very, very uncool. Aren't you going to try and open this a little bit? See if that does anything. That's a bit better. A bit of natural light in here now. Wait, what is, what is this? Where does this go? <laughs> okay. It's pretty handy to know. Alright, we're going to the middle, so that wasn't actually that helpful, but <laughs> we we now know that is an option for later. <laughs> uh we're doing better if you had the Sims interface. You can place items with the cursor and not to do them down manually. Mm. But at that point, aren't you just playing The Sims? <laughs> what is this? Apply some item effects? Oh! Oh, Monster Broth, nice. Oh, hey, look, it's the thing that we're trying to find. <laughs> Entire environments with uh, in Sims. Yeah, you can. That's what the build tool is for. Literally everything. Now you can do most things on your plot.
Oh, Ravalos, help us! I said, help us! Oh, I did not mean to hit the Ravalos. Uh, Ravalos? It's not Ravalos, it's a Rathian. Oh, it's stunned. Come on, you big baby. Wow. Just runs off from an armadillo. Yeah, not a, not a fan of that animation, I just realised. Are you going to bow? Hmm. Surely there's something out there like that. I suppose maybe it's one of those things that uh, two different games specialise on one of those things. Because if you have a game with both, it can't get super deep with either feature. So it's just sort of a bit crap all around. It it's done, get him! God, yeah, no, those, uh, brew, brew hairs? Yeah, no, they are stupidly good. My Mega Potion just insta-heals me. <laughs> or insta-fully heals me, even. Rathians here again. Is it, is it picking a fight with the Rathian? I think so. And it won, because of course it did. Worst mistake of its life, not gonna lie. Oh, well, can I... There we go. And I managed to poison it. Five down there. That's that's fair. Do one more strong attack, and then the Punisher. There we go. That went pretty well. Please move. Oh! It hit both, but it hit the uh, armadillo first. Just to confirm that it got the full brunt of it. 
Just got thrown off a cliff from a fart. Yeah, not, not a fan of that. Whoa. Oh, wow, well, thanks. <laughs> You're into what you're into, I guess. <laughs> that would have killed me. Oh, and Hercules just knocked me off a cliff. That's also cool. Can you leave me alone, please? I'm trying to get health regen. There we go. That should not have worked. That was insane. It was just good enough. Like I, I went to go hit the, uh, uh, the healing bug thing, and as I did, part of my hunting horn hit him. I think that was enough to stun him, so he fell over. So I think Angelic was still on the cliff, right? That was quite literally perfect. Oh my god. I thought it was going to go over me, but I guess not. I'm dead. What? How do you miss? I wasn't moving. Or is he just rolled out of the way? No! Oh, I should have done the wire bug attack first. Playing terribly this fight. That was, wow. I meant, I meant to get on the dog first. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with me? Uh, me tells it. Can't be that far until it's dead, right? Oh, come on. We've broken both sides now, so couldn't do anything. Mid combo, so I can do anything. No, um, why is he doing, why is he just spamming that attack? <laughs> there, get health regen so I can at least heal a tiny bit. See, that's what I thought was going to happen earlier. Where just, the blob goes above me. But... Don't move. Oh, uh, okay.
Oh, he is not stunned for as long as I thought he would be. Or at least tired out as much as he would be. Did I hit the did that hit the ground? Is that why that didn't hit me? We can we can capture him. Oh. GG, yeah. I think this suffers from the world thing where it scales upwards but it never scales downwards. So, as Mini joined us for the start of the quest, it, the, game, the hunt was set to a three-player difficulty, um, and then when he left it stayed at a three-player difficulty, hence why it took so long for two of us to kill him. And hey Tigan, good to see you again, hope you're doing well. Yeah, how long did that take? 26 minutes, yeah. That, 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 I think that's definitely the case. Which is really annoying because I don't like it when it does that. So dumb. Uh, so Dokupon stream tomorrow? Are we not Are we not playing D&D tomorrow? I haven't asked. Also, it's Saturday tomorrow. So, no, we're doing Neo tomorrow. Because we've got we to gotta start that new Souls-like, haven't we? So, dude, yeah, I. Which quest would you like? Do you do this? I was, no, I, I'm done. Leave me alone. <laughs> Neo, yeah, that one. N I O H, the samurai Dark Souls thing. I wish you luck. Is Dokemon not a Souls like? Sure felt like one. True, true. Thunder Resistance and Wirebug Whisperer. Fun. Is there any Souls game from what I've seen? It's not that bad. I played it before and we were playing it uh, last night, um, very briefly, and it wasn't terrible. I mean, I suppose we could do Dokapon instead of the, instead of Neo, make it the new timer game. The Dokapon of Souls like. Did you will play through it and it looks like it's an endless suffering. Oh, it is. Put it this way, I spent uh, over 14 turns, because it was two weeks in-game, because uh, it does it by like days and like one day is a turn, uh, and I spent over two weeks trying to get to a boss that we had to kill, uh, and I couldn't get the exact number of spaces I needed to uh, hit the boss, um, and uh, I couldn't get to it. Everyone else managed to fight it. Um, at least once. I finally get to it, I uh, go for the attack, mess it up, and get insta-killed without doing any damage. And I just wanted to cry, to be honest, and I, I did cry myself to sleep that night. It was it was not fun. So you uh, play as fucking you ever a chance they get? Oh yeah, we were playing the four of us. So, we didn't have NPCs or anything. Let's give us Evade Extender, which we get from... Oh, well that is an upgrade and we can make that, so... The legs would give us... Uh, uh, we lose one stun resistance and two critical eye, but we'd get a... Well, we'd actually have three Evade Extender. Twenty-eight defense to fifty. Yeah, we probably should. Oh, we couldn't make both anyway. To be as though a Satan spawn. Oof. <laughs> you worse because we can think. Too specific to ruin people's days. Like being a thief in general. I. I. Yeah. Your point. Don't hate the player, hate the game, which is a very viable thing to do because Dokemon Battle is not a sorry Dokemon Kingdom is not a good game. 
For those that don't know what Dokapon Kingdom is, boy howdy, are you missing out. It's a, um, it's basically a Mario Party kind of thing, where you go like a round on spaces and you spin a wheel and determine how many spaces you go. Like, think the, mo the board movement of Mario Party, but it's an RPG. And so whenever you land on a space, you then fight a monster and you can level up and buy weapons and equipment from shops and stuff. Um, and the story mode is you have to go around saving the kingdom and stuff. Uh, but all your other pe all the other people are doing the same thing. So you can like steal items from each other, you can fight each other, you can cast spells, that sort of thing. Uh, you do hate the game, but it was actually actually was fun. D and D Mario Party, kind of, yeah. So what can I help you with? Um. So yeah, that's a thing that exists. It's it's definitely something you should check out. If we never play it on stream, which I get the feeling we might have to play it on stream at some point. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I've only got to do one more quest. Oh, hell yeah. Like, it's not terrible. It's just there's so many bad things about it. Like, uh, no, okay, no. It's not a terrible game. But some of the bad decisions are really bad. Like the fact that if you want to fight the boss for the story, you have to get the exact number of space, uh, like number of space to get to it. Um, so you could spend 14-ish turns rolling numbers that go over and over and over and over again and never hit it. Um, and then someone comes along and gets it first try and kills the boss for you. And it's like, cool, I don't get the rewards for that. And you've just wasted like, 14 turns um so yeah it's not like that that sort of thing's really bad so yeah um right what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh run to the bathroom real quick uh so uh we'll have a very quick break um if anyone does want to join if you do exclamation mark session you can get the session code and id and password and all that sort of stuff um so if you do want to hop in, we've got two more spaces. Um, so if you want to hop in and help us do our final couple of uh, Hunter Rank 5 quests and probably a six one as well, then hey, feel free to. So yeah, I'll be back in just a sec.
Oh, hey, I have returned. Ugh. Right, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. Let me hit this lovely button. That's surprisingly not that bad. I mean, I'm a bit bright, but I feel like there's no in-between anymore. It's fine. I've opened my window now because it's quite hot in here, so. Uh, as opposed to the normal reaction of taking off all of your clothes, uh, I thought I'd open a window <laughs> and just lock them back. Right, what are we fighting? Oh, Bishoton. Ooh, fun. <laughs> Oh. Next time to say seize up, then it's not what I meant. Stiffen. Right. That's the word. Let's go. Ah, let's, let's go. Where are we going? Straight forward. And try to model a new character and texture it before reading them. Fair enough. Are you not meant to do texturing before rigging them anyway? I'm not sure what the normal uh, way to do that sort of thing is. Ow. Got hit by a mango. I'm assuming it's a mango anyway. <laughs> I think there's a little four. Well, I mean, it's your first time doing stuff like that, so. It's understandable. Oof, that worked. Texturing, not by much. Fair enough. Well, like I said, you you already recently started doing this whole thing, so uh, you gotta take you gotta take little baby steps. Uh, but you'll get you'll get there eventually. It's just a matter of sticking with it and. Uh, following tutorials, all that sort of stuff. Oh, of course he moves just before I can do the spin attack. Well, I've broken his head, so... To start. <laughs> wow. Every single one of those missed. Is he running off? No. He's he's break dancing. He learned his moves from Majima. That's how you know we're screwed. <laughs> At least he isn't using the bat of destiny. Then you know we're in danger. That's a point. More monsters need to use weapons. I don't like bam like they throw stuff at you. Like a bambro would throw like a tree trunk at you. That was always cool. I suppose this guy throws like fruit and stuff at you, but we we need like full on like a monster with a machine gun, you know? None of this improvised crap, nah. Fully trained military grade uh weaponry in the hands of a monster. I ain't complain about it. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. There's a monster to the, similar to that, what? That just uses gun? 
I feel like I should be surprised, but somehow I'm not. <laughs> Jet engine monster. Does it use gun though? <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Come on, banana man. Let's go. That was the wrong button. <laughs> oh, well, I can ride this one at least. <laughs> no. Such a waste. Ah, screw this. Oh no, my... Thanks, camera. I was trying to get it so it would look at the wall and then launch it, but then the camera changed because I was technically targeting the banana monster. Very cool. Saw it happen, thought, nah, I can take it. Try to get health regen, there we go. See, if it wasn't blocking, I would have hit that. <laughs> so I would have clipped the wing. There was some method to my madness. Not a lot, but there was some. I might hit the tail a little bit. Or the tail claw thing. Why does it have a hand on the end of its tail? Just why? I know it's so it can throw stuff at us and it can sit on it, but why? Does, just, who thinks of these things? Because this is a new monster for Rise, so... It's just like, who comes up with a monkey bat apom hybrid thing? that turns into a Beyblade. You know, as you do. Hand wings for the tips are just jet engines. Oh, fun. When do we fight that? <laughs> I do hope we get one of those like mechanical-esque monsters in, in this one. Because we didn't get any in, in Wild. And they always looked really cool, so... Be nice if we get, like, a... A version in this. Even if... Hell, even if it's a new one, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, it's probably pretty close to... To collapsing, which is nice. Gen Ultimate had two mechanical light monsters. Yeah, so... Oh, I know Generations Ultimate was the one before World, right? Hmm. One binge monster, right. Yeah. Yeah, we might not get it then. I guess they'd probably prioritize... Um... Uh, older monsters than newer ones. 
I was supposed to put wild monsters in, didn't they? But they probably did wild monsters purely because people like me, who have only played wild, uh, come into this and it's like, oh wow, well, I actually know these monsters. Whoa, that's not the button I meant to press. <laughs> Cheers, Hercules. There we go. Save both of us. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Or attack me. They're one in the same. <laughs> the wire bug attack just as he yelled so then it didn't uh, it counted as me using it but none of the attack went off what did I just break anyway his back tail oh his tail yeah you can see it's all messed up this is you know glavinus is sort of new yeah they're the one before generations ultimate though aren't they Yeah. I mean, we might get some. Who knows? You have take me off. Actually, I don't know when. I, I don't know what the new monsters from. I vaguely recognise it, so I mean, that could throw my thing out the window. So we've got a monster coming out before the end of April. Uh. Where, if you know what the monster is, you can say what game it's from. So I want to say four, like the one that Glavinus and stuff are from. Was it three? Yeah, it definitely seems like they're prioritizing uh, older ones. God, this thing just does not want to die. Can't be that much strong, stronger than death, right? Words are hard. Leave me alone. <laughs> or are we actually getting to the point where our weapons are outclassed? Which, now that I think about it, would kind of make sense. Shouldn't work, very confusing. Ugh. 
didn't know it actually hit me, but okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Just threw all the things. Just the entire fruit salad at me. Kinda rude, not gonna lie. Bit of Pokemon gets a main series game called Generations. Is Pokemon Generations not a thing? I suppose you talk about Pokemon Gens anyway. For like, uh, what Pokemon are with which games and stuff. Oh, that's a new finishing thing. I should lie on the floor. Hmm. Um. I mean, you've got the Arceus stuff, which is Legends, I think. What do you break? The head, the tail, and the wing. Uh, cool. It's a short animated series, not a game. Ah, that was it. So I thought it sounded familiar. <laughs> Urgent, 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 urgent. Hello again, Cinderish. There's an urgent quest awaits you. You've been requested to dispatch an, uh, an agitated Mitsusune in the Shrine Ruins. Usually docile, we rarely pay these creatures any mind. However, this particular Mitsusune uh, has gone hopping mad. Uh, I just don't get it. Uh, the Guild will investigate this further matter. Uh, this further matter. Mm hmm. That's, that's what they're going to do. As soon as these creatures are fine, just go beat them up. Cool. A bewitching dance. 